Hi, my name is Abdul Raza. I'm from Commuter and Road Infrastructure, LTA. Uh, today, I'll be sharing with you the commuter infrastructure, uh, especially the covered linkway. The scope of my presentation today will be placement of covered linkway within the road reserve. Typical covered linkway design, high covered linkway, uh, rest areas, best practices, and what to avoid and our references. Let me share with you the benefits of covered linkway. As you know, LTA has provided uh, more than 200 kilometers of covered linkway island-wide, and uh, this gives a seamless uh, travel to our commuters. The benefits of this linkway, of course, it will shield commuters from the hot and wet weather in Singapore. And this covered linkway could also attract more people to amenities and to promote the use of public transport. The planning and design consideration of a covered linkway include its buildability, operations and of course the maintenance aspect. This is to help us to achieve expedient construction, um, safe and economical maintenance. The considerations of LTA are as follows, um, to design it as a modular system, to optimise uh, the structure spacing, ease of uh, prefabrication for the ease of construction, um, and of course durable and cost-effective material. The overall concept of a uh, covered linkway is, um, of course, it, it comes to the planning, right? The covered connectivity network shall be, uh, of course, been drawn up and laid up and how it makes sense of a proper connectivity, right? Uh, the proposed covered linkway is to be studied in relation to the, as the built environment, its surrounding, and ensuring that this covered linkway are barrier-free uh, accessibility. The linkway design should be simple, mono pitch, with optimum member size and uh, spacing. Um, this would allow maximum modularization of uh, the structures. Uh, with regards to fabrication, the component, um, if we were to use uh, prefabricated materials, it could be fabricated off site, that's for sure. And uh, be, be brought over to the site uh, for assembly. Um, which use the bolting and uh, bolting and welding if necessary. Yeah, this uh, with this prefabrication, it will minimize uh, any inconvenience to the commuters and motorists alike. Let me share with you the modularization of uh, the covered linkway. Um, having having prefabricated on site, it could be uh, easily assembled. Uh, the members. Uh, in terms of its frame modules under control conditions. Uh, it could be delivered to, to site uh, by road and be hoisted by crane into position where it's ready for its final fitting up. And um, it can be completed quickly, that's for sure, and more importantly, safe. Uh, the installation process uh, would be clean and very unobtrusive. Uh, minimal commuter disruptions and, of course, less noise uh, pollution. And this will allow also future flexibility uh, for the extension of uh, covered linkway or reconfiguration if the need arises. Yeah. Um, let me share with you the design consideration. Uh, of course, the objective of the consideration, of course, to minimize the frequency of cleaning, repair, and also the replacement of covered linkway. Based on that, it should also be resistant to normal wear and tear. Uh, and of course, be resistant to exposure of weather elements, uh, especially in Singapore context. All right. The design of covered linkway columns, especially, uh, we would prefer that this column to be away from the carriageway. All right. Uh, and of course, the placement of covered linkway away from the carriageway would allow for wider space for circulation. All right. And our recommendation, of course, to adopt cantilever covered linkway to maximise the walkway width to facilitate pedestrian movement. Uh, with regards to the roof, um, of course, we, we would uh, want it to, to minimise the use of extensive uh, transparent and or translucent roofing materials that are prone to discoloration and weathering and um, to ensure effective rainwater runoff from the roof uh, when we look at the design. Um, material for the roof uh, should be able to withstand the exposure of external weathering and avoid using glass. 
as you know, glass is very difficult to, to maintain. And as far as our experience uh, goes, there's a lot of uh, glass roof with algae uh, being unclean. And aesthetically, it's not going to be pleasing. Right? Um, and of course, for LTA, we would encourage minimum three degree slope for linkway roof to facilitate self cleansing and allow effective water runoff from the linkway roof. Yeah? Of course, coming back to the columns itself, the design of the column sizes should be more, is encouraged to be modular. Yeah? When we are using the standardized column design, it will easily mean there's an ease of maintenance and replacement if the need arises. And uh, of course, to combat the illegal advertisement on linkways, yeah. So LTA actually encouraging for this linkways to be painted with the anti-stick paint on the columns. Yeah, uh, and of course the footpath uh, plays an important part. Uh, the footpath should be designed with a fall and gradient to promote discharge of water to the external drains. Yeah, uh, and of course it should be constructed. Um, the recommendation, of course, to construct the footpath to a slope towards the road to channel the surface runoff water to the roadside drain. Right? The use of uh, durable and stain-resistant floor finishes. And of course, uh, as you see, that all our, our linkways uh, for those nearing MRT, we are using the non-slip uh, materials such as granulitic floor finish. The lighting, of course, is, plays an important part for a cover linkway when um, it's at night. All right? So, uh, as a designer, we've got to ensure that the public spaces are well illuminated under the linkway. Yeah? And of course, we, the recommendation is to consider using adequate LED lighting, fittings that are more durable. Right? Earth pit position should not be placed within the covered linkway or within the walkway. Yeah? Uh, earth pit should be located at the green uh, verges or spaces to avoid any tripping hazards. Uh, when there's such of, uh, of a thing within the walkways. Um, and of course, having built all this infrastructure, we need to think about the interfacing, detailing of uh, new and old or existing infrastructures. All right. For cover linkways, yeah, it is necessary to provide a rain protection between linkways at different heights and linkways connecting to bus stops. All right. To address this, we would suggest to provide an aluminium flashing. And the cover linkway should also provide sufficient roof gradient to facilitate effective water runoff. We would uh, prefer a 3 degree slope minimum. The interfacing between low and high cover linkway, designer has to ensure there's a close gap between these two infrastructures to prevent water, rainwater from spilling into low linkway. If you notice along all our roads where high cover linkway was built, we have provided a vertical perforated panel for rain screen for sufficient, uh, and sufficient overlapping between roof of different heights for rain protection. Right. Interfacing between linkway and bus stop, cover linkway connection uh, shall not obstruct bus shelter address plates. Yeah? When, when we actually design or do the detailing for the interfacing between linkway and bus stop, uh, designer have to ensure that uh, this address plate and bus stop guide pole is not being obstructed. All right. We would advise uh, designers um, to consult LTE on the relocation of bus pole and address plate when necessary. Let me share with you the placement of cover linkway. Our typical cover linkway usually is sited on the existing footpath. All right then the green verge and of course the service verge, then the carriageway. All right. For uh, placement of covered linkway near bus stops, there's two scenarios. Okay, this is the first scenario where the linkway actually goes behind the bus stop. Yeah, which, and this covered linkway will continue to have another connection be it to the residential developments and so forth. The other type is, of course, having cover linkway connecting to the bus stop by its side. Yeah, this is a typical design of, of a cover linkway having three uh, degree slope to one side. Yeah, and as I mentioned earlier on, a cantilever structure uh, is to be used wherever possible. It should be a mono pitch, a modular construction, uh, bolted members. Brush cement scrape finish 
for normal foot bath, concealed electrical wiring and concealed lighting fittings. Of course, lighting and wiring, it's all, as you can see in this photograph, it's all been concealed. Yeah, and the requirement of 10 lux uh, with un uniformity of 0 0.25. Yeah, and it, will, it is placed at every 6 meter apart. For high cover link ways, yeah, like low cover link way, if you're adopting the mo mono pitch, simple stru structure, modular construction, optimized member sizes, and uh, of course, when it's actually across uh, a road, yeah, it would be, of course, a tarmac finish. But if it's on any maintenance excesses, then it will be like normal footpath, brush, finish, script finish. This is a standard uh, linkway dimensions. For low, low linkway, uh, 3.6 meter wide if the linkway is connecting from MRT station entrance to the first uh, sh uh, bus shelter or track taxi or drop-off point. Right? Uh, and beyond the first transport nodes, as mentioned earlier on, it is 2.4. And the minimum height for cover linkway is 2.4 meter height. For high cover linkway, the width will be 5 meters, and the height would be 5.7 headroom clearance. Uh, one of the features in the uh, cover linkway, when the proposal is actually on a long span route, uh, a rest area is uh, necessary. This will be provided a long, longer path of travel, yeah. And the seats will be provided with arm and backrest to assist the elderly and the need, the person with uh, special needs. And of course, this rest area is part of BCA requirement, which is required to be placed at 50 meter apart. Let me share with you some of the best practices um, for interfacing between facilities. For, for this case, it's about a linkway connecting to the bus stops. Right? As I mentioned earlier, the cover linkway shall not obstruct any bus shelter, press plate or bus pole. Right? Um, yeah, if you can see, based on this slide, the cover linkway is away, is positioned away from the bus pole. Effective uh, drainage of water uh, from the linkway roof uh, is all being channeled to the roadside. Okay. Okay, roof material consideration. Um, yeah, LTA does not encourage or accept uh, polycarbonate or Teflon roof material within its road reserve. Right. This is the example of polycarbonate cover linkway and also Teflon. Yeah, a minimum setback is required from the road curb to the edge of covered linkway when the covered linkway is actually nearing the roadside or the carriageway. Yeah, interfacing of uh, linkway and bus stops. Of course, we recognise there's a height difference. In order to mitigate this, a open gutter is to be provided to address the height issues. High covered linkway, a perforated um, Rain screen is being provided to minimize water splashing in. This is the um, not so good practice, right? If you can see the um, spread of um, the linkway structure and bus stop uh, does not permit any of um, wheelchair to pass through. So such uh, design, a position of uh, linkway column has to be really considered in order to facilitate barrier-free accesses for the wheelchair-bound. Placement uh, of the address plate on the bus stop. So this one of the examples where the address plate is being blocked by the linkway proposal. And ideally, this address plate has to be relocated as shown in this photograph. Yeah. And of course, uh, for more details, you could actually find out from our EDC architectural design criteria, which is really in our website the code of practice for walking and cycling, and of course, the SDRE standard design on road elements. Of course, when um, a proposal of cover linkway is, is made, uh, the following agencies are to be consulted, uh, that is URA, and of course, HDB or Town Council, and it actually is within uh, the HDB boundary, uh, NPARCs, PUB, drainage, PUB sewerage, 
and also the other uh, service agencies such as SP Power, Gas, and uh, Talcos. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you.